All right, guys, here we are in Cummings uh, Quick Serve. I'm not going to get into how to do that, but you could set up your serial number on Cummings Quick Serve. Find that, and you will, uh, it has everything about your truck to, to build it and, you know, rebuild it. So here is our gasket here. You know, they're just explaining if you want to reuse that one, if it's not bad, if it's cracked, throw it out. The major thing is after you get this all off, clean your oil pan and whatnot. But right here, it says apply eighth inch bead of silicone sealant right here on these four corners and that's actually where mine is leaking so that that was a bulletin afterwards they know it fails right there so where these two gaskets meet on the engine itself you're going to put an eighth inch bead on each four corners and put your gasket on another key tip is um after you get your gaskets on put like where it says number one right here and number 17 or 16, one of the two, put the two bolts in, put the pan up halfway, and then follow this sequence in order all the way around. So you start on the driver's side, work your way to the back, all the way around, back around to number one, and then loosen number one and retighten it. Okay, it's 41 foot pounds, the torque spec, 13 millimeter screws, but you go along, and I guess you just tight, snug them all up first, then go to one. And start tightening them down to that 41 pounds. And then once you get back to one, release it and uh, tighten it back up to 41. So that's that. Put your plugs back in, obviously, and fill your truck with oil. Let's go do it. All right, stop. Make sure you have all your stuff ready. Have all your tools under there. Have your buckets ready for the oil. Get everything prepped before you even start this project. So you can get in and out. Get it done. Have your Permatex here. This is what I'm using. It's a ultra uh gasket maker for oil resistant here's my oil all ready to go this is a tip that i come up with conventionally normally you want the engine hot when you drain your oil so you get all that nice gook and grime out of that oil and get it all down in and out because it's thinner this i want the engine cold because i want everything in that oil pan and not up in the motor um that way because we're dropping the oil pan we're taking it so we will clean it right out because otherwise you're just going to have constant dripping coming out of that engine you know off the bearings off the chair ch off the crank off of everything we'll do that for hours you know so that's my tip and you can see what the problem i have here so there's the oil leak that's happening here and it's coming exactly where they're saying right from them corners of that oil pan and back there's i get a little leak on the pto dump hoist i gotta address that they always leak i just don't know where it's leaking from She's a flow and make sure you got your oil ready to go and you just put this cap on do the transition if you're slow you always get dirty and oil on you you know that oh she's a going she's a going And that's what we're looking for, a nice little trickle. We'll put that bolt back in to lower this pan. Pan's bigger than you think, so you gotta go around this thing, make sure all these, I'm gonna cut that zip tie, make sure all your wires out of the way, drop it and get it on out. That's why I uh, save all my kids' old shirts. I got them all, all these old shirts dried up all my oil that I just spilt when I slammed the bucket over into the other thing I hit that cross member but we'll get this cleaned up nice and nice because we'll be working under here disconnecting the alternator just so I could drop those wires down through the bottom a little bit give me more room all right there's one out all right there's longer bolts 
Like these ones, I took pictures, but you want to put them back where they belong. So I got a, I got a paint marker. I'm just gonna paint the block here. I'm painting on this too, where they go. And then I'll know where the longer ones go. All right, let's start dropping the pan. Obviously we're not gonna put them in with an impact, but we'll take them out with the impact. Leave your center bolt, your two center bolts that are gonna be in. Leave those two in last uh, so it balances it and you can lower it down. And I'm not gonna lie, a couple of these had me worried here in the front. I, uh, the longer ones with the things, I, I had to grab, uh, a little, they didn't want to come out with this gun. I had to grab the bigger, the bigger tools. But she's coming. We'll get around the back side here and I'll just have the back of it to go. I'll put one more bolt in the front just to hold the pan up, but softly, you know, just temporarily and keep working my way around. There's a lot of scaling going on here. We'll have to really look at that when we take that apart, take it down. All right, in the back side here next to the tranny, you can see where it leaks out of here. She drips down on the bell housing. It's got to be coming from these corners. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Almost got the the uh all the bolts out still got a couple more here but we'll be getting it we'll be getting it it's going nice and easy with that gun no no need to no need to yarn her down All right, she's on loose, on loose. I just held this up tight and just shake these wires as hard as you can to get the dust off before you lower that pan. You don't want dust going in there on the bearings. So I just got these two hand tight straight across from each other. Gonna pull them down at the same time and try to lower this thing down. I don't know, somewhat gently. All right, we don't wanna hurt these wires, but they may act as a, a catch. Anyways, let's see if we can get Ooh, I can't get in here because this is going to be the test to put it back up too. I may use a, I may use a jack stand or a jack itself. Let me go to put this back up, seeing how heavy it is. Well, let's get these two bolts off and lower. All right, there's one. Holding it up with one hand right now. Drop the other one in there. Hold it up like that, and we're gonna just lower down ever so slightly and nicely and we're praying that the bearings look good in this beast oh, we're getting for whoa we took an oil bath we took an oil bath well we're gonna let her drip out now wow that went down my side all right let me scooch out of here i should have pulled that back sump i wasn't even thinking all right yep there she is nice oil bath so that back plug on the oil pan you got the front one you got the back one drop the back one too because i forgot there's going to be oil in there it doesn't make it down to the front and you should do that when you do your oil changes also uh, i got some clean up in there clean up right here i'll be back all right we're cleaned up for the moment there's my oil pan there's a dipstick hanging down we got to just wiggle this on out the best we can let's see what we got I don't like the wind kicking up. Be on my wires. Come on, get off my wires. I do not like the wind kicking up and I got a ton of oil in the back. Come on, come to me, get off my wires. There we go, now she'll set down. My wires are being pulled there. Quite a bit of oil left in here. Makes it awful heavy. We got her down now. See that back plug there? This is a hump. 
So there's always oil in there. So when you change your oil, I guess I never did that before either. Look at the amount of oil in there. There's a good gallon and a half in there that stays up in there. So you gotta make sure you pull that back plug right there when you change the oil. Most guys probably know that, but hey, I didn't. We got to get this all cleaned up get everything cleaned up all around these edges make sure it's all good and i'll wipe this whole pan down the best i can and inspect it then we'll have to clean the bottom of the engine where the gasket is take that gasket down and wipe that all down hopefully that's all clean we'll put our permatex on the four corners, like they say. Inspect the bearings and go from there. All right, really happy with the way this is cleaning up. I used brake cleaner, went all the way around it. Now I'm gonna clean the inside, make sure all the gunk is out of it. And make it nice. Like a new, like brandy new. All right, she's looking good. Just giving it the final polish down. There was no sludge, there was nothing in there. The inside of this pan looks really good. It's a little rubbing right there, which I'll look under the engine where that was rubbing. That might be just a little of the uh, oil sump rubbing on there but other than that hey get them rocks out of there now see what i'm saying sticking to my hands we'll get that and uh clean her up get her back in the truck we're gonna go underneath right now I was just on the phone with Kenworth while I was taking that gasket off. That's why I wasn't talking. But um, gasket come off good. It did look like they had Permatex in these spots. I don't know if that was from factory or if this has been done before. Um, I don't know. I didn't look at the bearings yet. Maybe the bearings were done already uh, before I got the truck. So I'm not really too sure. But I called for a new oil pan. They do, he's calling me back because I might just replace this if they have a TRP or a PDI one aftermarket. The original one's like fifteen hundred bucks, but he doesn't even have one. So, I mean, the inside's good. It's just you know it's flaking. It, it, I mean, it's definitely good, no doubt. But I gotta you know we're not gonna let this sit overnight with the wind and all that. No way, being outside. But for the meantime. Pull this clean everything up, make her nice and nice. Okay, get all my grime off. And hit it with some cleaner. Well, we got a spare. I'm on my way up to Kenworth. They just gave me a screaming deal on one. Yeah. Big shout out to Kenworth Northeast. Got me the PDI. I guess it comes with the gasket too, which is nice. Now I can return the gasket I bought. Let's open it up, see what we got. All right, this thing comes with instruction kit, all the gaskets, the big gasket, all the O-rings. Here's my old gasket out. I do see a bunch of clean going through there. I don't know, that, I mean, obviously that's where it was leaking and in other spots too, but whatever. These are reusable gaskets, so that was probably off once and reused, but um, comes with that comes with all your new plugs pdi right here it's uh kenworth hampton market you know they use trp and pdi but uh yeah brand new ski happy to get it on i'm gonna read this thoroughly and do it right i still gotta clean the bottom 
All right, they got the engine block all clean, scraped down. That, that old silicone with razor blade. And just put a little oil on these O-rings. Threaded all my three big plugs in. Okay, oil pan is ready to go in. Still got to put my Permatex on the four. I'm going to let that sit about 15 minutes before I try to put this up. A little tip here to keep this from sliding and trying to line up as you lift it. I just took, these are my old earplugs. You could use any kind of string, but just make sure once it's up, you have to put one bolt in, or bolt in the back too, pull that string out, because it will hang down about that far, and I think that will work. All right, you can feel this ridge, and that's why they have that, because that's where it wants to leak. Eighth inch on each, each one of those seams. I already did the back. I'm gonna do that and then do that one, but the other two are done. I gotta hurry up. It's 87 degrees. Unseasonable. Scratching my new pan. We gotta get under. I gotta get through these wires. The other side up on there. Up on there. Alright, keep that gasket where it's gotta be. Alright, alright. We're in under the truck. Now we gotta get this thing up so I can put a bolt in it. And I gotta get the bolts. I'm gonna use these wires as a prop if I can. All right, you probably can't see this, but I'm just angling this front up, getting any bolt in here for now. I could change it out if it ain't the right one. But I mean, they're the right bolts, but some are longer than the others. So I got that one started. Cause you can't, I, with one person, I can't get it all up flush and I gotta get around more wires. And this way you can still inspect it from the backside to make sure nothing's messed up. What I got going on here? So I got cable lines back here. I got two wires. I got two wires that have to be finagled around. Make sure that dipstick's not getting hurt. Clutch cable out of the way. Those two are out of the way. All right, she's up. Oh man, did I just smear that? Shoot, sugar. I just, I just smeared my uh, permatex, but I think it's okay. Let me get a bolt up here. I'm gonna put a bolt on that. All right, the oil pan is up. She's up and every, all the holes are lined up, which is good. Now, hopefully the Permatex didn't get too bunged up. I don't think so. I smeared it, which it is what it is. What am I gonna do? Yeah, I can't get it perfect every time. I might be able to touch that up from over here. Um, but I swear it's okay. I'm this picky. All right, I'm up. I'm gonna get the rest of these bolts in. Get back with you when we start torquing. All right, I turned you back on to show you this. So, because this worked out slick, just untie it, slip it on out, put your bolt in. All right, so I'm starting the sequence. I started over here where they said in the middle, which is number one. I showed you guys that diagram in the beginning. I just went all the way around. And I'm just snugging as I come right now just till it squeezes and then I'll start my torque sequence start on that number one go all the way around to 41 foot pounds and then get back to number one loosen it and tighten it and she'll be done then ch put change the oil filter and once I change the oil filter throw some oil in her then fire her up and then take a bath because I am filthy but again, I planned on doing this for the day. I didn't care how long it took me. I wanted it done right. And it is done right. So pretty uh 
it's nice when you can work on your own trucks if you have time you know obviously this is winter work if i had a shop but so i wait till it's a good day and do it and here's the first one that i snug right here that's one and i'm gonna go back around and uh start torquing right now all right just double check the specs it is 41 it's the seventh hole back one two three four five six seven which is that one so we're gonna throw a 41 on here and start working our way around that's it 41 we'll go right around now and then we'll come back and loosen that first one we did and then retighten it I went around twice snugging before I did this. Forty-one. Oh, we're still snugging. Forty-one. We're coming back around. Forty-one. I would have been way over tightening this if I didn't uh, have the torque wrench I'll tell you that you think uh 41 is a lot or is you know you don't you're not sure and then you go and do it and you're like well that ain't that much that's why they leak guys will overdo them by feel and definitely put 60 pounds on it i mean that's there they feel like they're not even tight but you gotta trust the system guys here to click and I'm gonna double check my instrument it says 41 all right back around to number one we're gonna loosen it first see if it stayed tight it did we're gonna loosen it like they said all right give it the old loose job hey and tighten her up boy is it hot today There it is. Double check. There it is. Nice and nice. Now you still got work under here. We're going to put all this wiring back in and all these clips that come off the long bolts that I left that white mark. You see how that white mark's at the long bolt? That means that's where a clip was. So we're in good shape. Everything's tight. Everything's new. It's looking good. Come on, find your home. Yeah. Slippery when it's full. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ugga dugga. Oh, I think that's pretty good. All right, now what we gotta do is throw some oil in this. 
bad boy. All the wiring's hooked up. If anybody knows, this is actually a funnel. Watch this. It's a funnel. If you ever just want to put a cord in on the side of the road or whatever, but we'll take that out for now. Throw a big funnel in there. Fill her up. All right, this is too good not to show. So this is a funnel, like I said, and you just take it out and then you turn it and then it, lo it locks in, okay? Locks in place. Five gallons goes right in there, no problem. Just did one. Watch this. Like a boss. I wouldn't have thought that. I've never, the last time I changed it, I didn't do this. Works like a dream. Set it right in. Let her drink. You could even hold it on there like so. Easy peasy. All right, let's check the oil. So golden that uh, it's hard to see because she's fully clean now. Like I said before, I left that gallon and a half, and most people might, you know. All right, she says it's full there, but we are just gonna clean up for the rest of the day because I'm gonna let that Permatex set because I have nowhere to go with this. If I had somewhere to go, I probably would be all right with the Permatex, but uh, there's no sense in rushing it. Let it set 24 hours, see you in the morning. We'll have everything cleaned up, we'll fire up, check for leaks. All righty, next morning. Cycled the key a few times, checked the oil, it was good. That just shut off. Um, I just replaced the O-ring in this filler neck. As you see the mess that it makes here, that's another leak problem. Just a little O-ring cheap, fill that, put that, or put that in there. And then this plug right here, always, that's a cheap little plug right there. Replace that, that will leak too, make a mess. Over time, you know, they get dry rot. All right, let's fire up, see what we got. All right, check for oil pressure. Looking good. Check for some leaks. cleaning that out and all that there was no metal there was no grime there was no sludge which is all a good sign for this engine you know what i mean so i was happy about that all right guys i'm gonna end this one if you like this video and you aren't subscribed yet please subscribe to the channel it helps out and give a big thumbs up that's even better than subscribing so uh catch you guys on the next one